Sometimes you just do dumb things. Yeah. Yeah. Right, guys and cows, as always, my name is Matt. If you guys are new here, my channel is all about hiking and backpacking. We talk a ton of hammock camping here. I go to some pretty banging places in the gorgeous Canadian Rockies. So if any of that is interesting to you guys, click on the subscribe button over here. As you guys can probably figure out, today we're talking about mistakes. And we're talking about my mistakes. Now these are not gear or equipment failure issues. Some of them have to do with gear and equipment. But these are some mistakes that I have made in the past couple years. I figured I would go over and talk about some of the things that I've done that have caused me some grief on some of my backpacking trips. And I thought maybe... It might be able to help some of you so you guys can learn from my mistakes literally and hopefully not make these mistakes on your trips so let's just dive into it the first one we're going to talk about relates to this guy right here now this here is my tokes titanium spork it's the only reason i have my tokes titanium spork is because on my north boundary trail trip that i did in 2017 i did a nine day backpacking trip with a group of friends it was absolutely amazing amazing views amazing stories from this trip one of the negative stories from this trip was losing my snow peak titanium spork i had the green snow peak titanium spork i bought the green one specifically because i thought the bright green color would make it difficult for me to lose it kind of backfired on me the last time i had my spork was for breakfast at oatmeal campground i mixed up my oatmeal for the morning actually i didn't realize it until we got to camp at Twin Tree Lake the next night when we uh, stopped for camp after doing Snake Indian Pass. Lucky enough for me, my buddy Brett packed an extra spork for some reason. He had a little collapsible extra spork in his cook kit. So he hooked me up with that, which was awesome to get me through the last couple couple days of the trip. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I lost my spork on a backpacking trip. It wasn't the, the end of the world by any means. I, I could have whittled something out of a stick if I needed to, but uh, Definitely an annoyance to lose my spork on a backpacking trip. The next mistake we're gonna talk about has to do with these guys right here. These are the Mountain Ridge booties that I use for the dogs on their backpacking trips now. Now how this relates to backpacking mistakes, I did not always carry booties for the dogs on their backpacking trips. When I first started out backpacking with Remy, I didn't carry booties for him until I kind of learned the hard way that carrying booties for your dog is a good idea. This was a backpacking trip that I did with Lindsay and Remy, we went for three days, two nights down in the Kananaskis area. We, on our first day, temperatures got up over 35 degrees Celsius and the ground got extremely hot and Remy ended up getting some blisters on the bottom of his feet just from how hot the ground was. Uh, not having any booties for him, I actually ended up sacrificing a couple pairs of my socks to make booties for him. So thankfully I had some extra socks and I was able to fashion up some booties for him to get him through that trip. Since that trip, I have learned from the error of my ways and I do carry booties for the dogs now. This is fun, hey, talking about all Maddie's bonehead mistakes. Well, let's keep going. This time, we're gonna talk about water filters. My gravity setup is kind of a hodgepodge mix max of some platypus gravity parts and a Sawyer Mini. Now, the reason that I've incorporated a Sawyer Mini into my gravity system is because I destroyed the actual filter on my platypus gravity system, leaving it in the tree overnight and not taking my filter into my sleep system with me to keep warm. And uh, yeah, temperatures got below freezing and my filter froze and I couldn't get anything to flow through my filter at all. If you've cut a, a water filter and you sleep in an area where you may deal with freezing temperatures at all, take your filter into your sleep system with you. I know I've talked about this quite a bit and I've preached about it, and uh, yeah, I didn't even listen to my own advice and I left my filter hanging in a tree overnight and I woke up to five inches of snow. Obviously it got below freezing overnight and my filter froze and yeah, was completely pooched. So uh, I picked up the Sawyer Mini to add to my gravity system, which in the end kind of helped me because it saved me a couple ounces of Sawyer Mini, I think being an ounce and a half lighter than the platypus filter. Still, uh, you know, a, a water filter that I didn't necessarily want to have to buy, but uh, you know, it is what it is. I made the mistake and I've learned from it since then. Now this one here is kind of a big deal. And up until this point, there's actually only a small amount of people that actually know that I've even made, made this mistake. I really haven't talked about it at all. It kind of really sucked what happened at the time, but uh, wasn't really as bad as I initially reacted to it, but cut a hole in my quilt. Um, it was actually on one of my most recent backpacking trips when I was out with the boys for Brett's birthday. It was uh, ridiculously windy out on the trip 
and I decided I was going to move my hammock location from the ridge line that I was camped out on and move my hammock further into the trees. Have my tarp flip back and I was taking my underquilt off to go put my underquilt in my backpack. I had the bug net removed from my hammock at the time. Um, when I unhooked my underquilt, my top quilt ended up just spilling out of the hammock, which tends to happen sometimes and uh, was on the ground and a gust of wind blew my underquilt into a tree. And I got a pretty little hole in my quilt when uh, my underquilt smashed into a branch. So uh, yeah, thankfully I had tenacious tape with me and I was able to fix it up as best I could. But uh, yeah, I've, I've got a wicked hole in my gorgeous UGQ bandit top quilt. Awesome mistake on, uh, on my part to just not really pay attention to what I was doing, I guess. I don't know. It uh, just kind of happened. That's uh, the best explanation that I can give for that one. But uh, yeah, kind of sucked at the time, but you know, we got over it. If you guys have enjoyed this and you enjoyed, you know, some of the, the fails and mistakes that have happened over the years, let me know in the comments down below. I definitely would be interested in making more videos like this if this is the kind of stuff you guys are into. But uh, if you guys are tired of seeing me talk about mistakes I've made and you guys want to see good choices that I've made, what I'll do for you guys is up over here. I'm going to put a link to a playlist that I've made for a bunch of backpacking tips to lower the weight in my backpacking kit and lower the weight in your backpacking kit as well. So if you're done watching this one, head over there and check that one. And as always, guys, I am Maddie. Thank you all so dang much for watching. And I will see you guys on the next one.